Hello sparkly people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Vera Valentina, your favorite burlesque YouTuber, and I'm coming to you live from inside my guest bathroom to do what? A chit chat, get ready with me, basic showgirl cabaret dance competition makeup. Real easy, real simple. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Stay tuned. But before we begin, I'm gonna need you guys to go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and help a sister out, please and thank you. Here we go. All right guys, so this is what, ow. So this is what we start with. I've already done my eyebrows off camera because eyebrows, that's why. We're gonna go ahead and get into this whole full coverage showgirl makeup. This is pretty much the same face that I do for every single show. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin my hair back. I have a set of Minnie Mouse ears that I usually use um, to hold my hair back while I'm doing my makeup, but as you guys know, I just moved to New Jersey and we're still unpacking, so I can't find them. All right, here we go. First thing I like to get started with is a glass of wine. This is actually sangria. It just helps me set the mood. Cheers. All right, so because we're showgirls and we have to have a flawless face when we're on stage, you want to start with a really good skincare regimen. Now, I'm still working on mine because I have really, really sensitive skin. I have acne scars and I have adult acne. So I have to basically paint over all of this. So the thing that I use, and I just got introduced to this, and forgive it for being so dirty, is the NARS um, Pore and Shine Control Primer. When I tell you this stuff is absolutely amazing, it is absolutely amazing. And I am going to take that much. Y'all see that? That much. And I just dab it in, in all places where my pores are huge, like my cheeks my T-zone, where I'm gonna sweat on stage, and really work that in so that we get a nice flawless base. Now, I'm about to do full coverage foundation because like I said, I have acne scars and things that I have to cover up. I also have moles and freckles and all that fun stuff, which I'm sure a lot of you do. I mean, nobody's perfect. I mean, some of us have seal skin, but not I, said the cat. But with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation, I love this stuff. It is super full coverage, and you can tell I use it a lot because it's almost done and my NARS uh, concealer brush, and I am gonna go ahead and hit all my hot spots. And when I say hot spots, I mean all the spots where I have like serious discoloration on my face. Because obviously we don't want that to show through on stage. Demolish thin makeup. Unless of course, once again, you have perfect skin. And if you do have perfect skin, I'm so jealous of you. I'm so jealous of you. Tell me how you did it. Comment down below how you got perfect skin because I need help. I'm also gonna clean up around my eyebrows a little bit because it's that time. I need to go ahead and get my brows done. So now that our hot spots are hit, next step in my routine is to go ahead and hit myself with foundation. And this one is the Sleek Makeup Life Proof Foundation. It's medium to full coverage and it is sweat proof. I do suggest getting a sweat proof and oil free foundation for the specific reason that you're going up there to dance, you're gonna sweat, the lights are gonna hit you, you need something that's gonna stay on. Some people like to use a foundation brush. I don't, I think it spreads out the product too much. I literally like to beat my face with a beauty blender. It's really super time consuming. Sometimes I'm sitting there like blending out my foundation for like, five minutes. <laughs> I never said that my stage makeup routine was a short one. Cute! We're getting there, we're starting to look human. I'm kind of glad that I'm doing this video also because I haven't performed in a while. Obviously because I've been moving and getting things ready to move here to New Jersey. So I need to get back in the swing of things because I really, really, really want to get into this East Coast for less community. Well, like I said, I moved to Princeton, so I'm about 45 minutes outside of Philadelphia and I think I wanted to say 45 minutes, but like after checking, I think I'm about an hour and 15, hour 30 outside of New York City. So I think my plan is gonna be to try to get in on the Philadelphia burlesque scene first and then make my way to New York. I think we are foundation covered. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. Ta -da. Oh, next up, concealer. Boom. This is in the color honey. Seems like <laughs> all the light skin girl colors are like honey, cashew. See that I have like really high cheekbones and fatty cheeks. 
I don't bring my concealer all the way down. I keep it up top. It makes me look like I've got cheek filler almost. I like to go ahead and blend this out just lightly and then bring the line up the side of my eyes. I'm all about the full coverage, ladies, gents, and my gender not conforming folk. Friends, peasants, countrymen, this is so weird, like chatting to the camera while I'm doing this because normally I have like my laptop out and I'm watching Real Housewives or I'm watching Wendy Williams and I'm catching up on all the hot topics before I get ready for a show because I like my makeup time to be like my chill, calm down moment because once we get into the hair, it gets freaking crazy. I'm not doing hair today <laughs> because I just blow dried and straightened my hair like the way that I want it and I need this to last for the week because um, I've got bangs to do, so I'm not gonna curl it up today. I just wanted to give you guys my showgirl face because I've gotten so many comments and DMs about how to do a basic showgirl face, so that's what we're doing. Now, again, because we're gonna be on stage, everything has to be exaggerated, so that I've gone over or done my under eye concealer, I'm gonna go over it with something a little bit. Let's hit it one more time. Do you see how light this is in comparison to the other one? This is not a honey, this is medium. But since like, you've gotten fair, you ain't that light skin, Vera. So like I said, I'm like really trying to get back into the swing of things because I really want to get involved in the Philadelphia burlesque and the New York burlesque community. But as you guys know, or I'm sure you'll, you'll find out after doing a little research like I did, the East Coast burlesque community is a lot more competitive than the Midwest burlesque community. I'm not gonna say that it's not family friendly and all that other stuff, you know? I mean, it's still girl power feminism all the way. However, comma, you're dealing with girls who have been training. It's not as common to find a classically trained dancer in the Midwest. I mean, I'm not saying that they don't exist, but it's just not as common. Most people come into burlesque as hobbyists and they just wanna try it because it makes them feel good about themselves. They like the costume aspect of things. They like the camaraderie and that's awesome. New York, Philadelphia, not so much. These girls are coming strong. They've taken dance their entire lives. They're SAG after. They're actors, they're actresses, they've done musical theater, they're seamstresses, professional costumers, they've made things for people like Britney Spears, Brianna and Beyonce. Like it, it's serious here. So I got stuff to work on. It's a journey. I mean, I'm not gonna say that I'm not ready for it. I think I'm awesome. Like I I think I'm an awesome dancer. I think that I'm an awesome performer. I think that I've got the training and I think that I've got the wherewithal to get through it. But there are some things that I gotta work on, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't be taking you on this burlesque journey with me because I would already be famous with thousands and thousands, and thousands of followers getting paid thousands and thousands of dollars to perform wherever I would be in Vegas. I'm not. I'm working on it. I mean, I am queen of Kansas City burlesque 2019. I don't know what that means to the East Coast, it means something in the Midwest and I'm really excited about my title because I worked really, really hard to get it. But I have a feeling I'm gonna work a lot harder to, to get in there on the East Coast here. And, but I'm excited about it. I'm really excited to work, to work it out. You know what I mean? To put in the work, to do it. And I think that's what's most important, putting in the work. It's not necessarily about the destination, it's about the journey, right? Sorry guys, quick makeup break. So I ordered Instacart before I started filming and she didn't call, she didn't text, she didn't say anything. I don't think my doorbell even rang. So I'm about to go downstairs and see if my groceries are at my front door because I just got a notification that they were delivered. Oh, look at that. She just left it at my front door. That's cute. I live in New Jersey. Oh, and look at that. Just salad bags on the ground. Needless to say, the person who delivered my food will not be getting a tip. How you just gonna drop my shit outside the door without ringing the doorbell and expect a tip? All right, we're back in the bathroom. I need another drink. People got me all hyped up. We're gonna go ahead and set us up. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with just a regular setting powder. This is a collab setting powder. I got this at Sally Beauty Supply and set my entire face with this. This is just a translucent powder. I use the powder puff that they give us and just go to town. Now, some people say that baking is stupid. I say that baking is not for everyone. For me, because I have extremely oily skin, I bake. Cause I want 
to soak up as much oil as I possibly can so that when I get on stage, I am not shiny, I am not gross. I'm just gonna let this bake for just a little bit. Um, and then I will go in, because this makes me super pale, I will go in with a full coverage powder in the same color as my skin and make that happen. So we get like a real full coverage situation happening here. Again, full coverage on stage, full coverage on stage, full coverage on stage. Complexion is the most difficult part of the stage makeup. Once we get to the eyes, you guys are gonna be like, oh, Vera, that was easy, that was easy squeeze. And I'm gonna be like, yeah, girl, it was. All right, so I went ahead and I brushed off all of that powder and now I'm gonna go ahead and, like I said, with the full coverage foundation powder in my color. And um, usually I use MAC. Ah! Didn't break, we're good. Wow. Usually I use MAC Studio Fix foundation powder, but I am out. So this is my backup. Like, Vera, you haven't contoured, not a thing. The only thing that you have done is your under eye. Well, I am not a cream contour girl. I am a powder contour girl, and we're getting to that next. I'm gonna do a quick blender -oony. Contour that I'm gonna use on my face is a pretty cool brown color because I find that cool tones work best with the red lipstick that I'm gonna be wearing. Here, and I'm gonna take a contouring brush, dip, and dab. I, again, don't like to carry my contour too far down my face. I also like to bring my contour up onto my forehead because I have a Tyra Banks forehead. So we gotta make it look smaller. Gives you a little cut in the face. And you never wanna drag your contour down. You always wanna bring your contour up. The next thing that I like to do is bring out my, my jawbone. So I hit a little bit of contour right underneath. And it also cuts your gobbler. If you have a gobbler, and I have a white gobbler here, I'm working on it, but. Oh my God, Vera, you did your whole complexion before you did your eyes. What happens if your eyes bleed onto your face? What happens if your eyeshadow comes down? And I'm like, it doesn't, so there's that. All right, so next I'm gonna hit up my eyes. Now the first thing that I like to start with, and I know people think I'm crazy for doing this, but I like to take a little bit of powder on a regular blending brush and just cover my entire eye socket with this color. I'm going to reinforce it with these cool tone colors here. A little brown. Just gonna hit the crease. Hit the crease lightly. I like to bring that into my nose bone. The man is home. And he brought mail. Bills. No bills. Oh, no bills. Oh, he got his charge card from his new job. He got his Amex. Happiness. Not doing a good job right now. Sometimes I do the most amazing job cutting my nose up and sometimes it looks awful. So hype because his card finally says doctor on it. Now yeah, he's gonna get all his cards reprinted to say doctor. Special. Hit up underneath my eyes with that same dark color. Clean up underneath my eyes a little bit. So next we go into the bane of everybody's existence, liquid eyeliner. I guess I'm a wet and wild freak when it comes to my stage makeup because I also use this cheap mascara. Wet and wild, mega volume mascara. Regular eyeliner. This is the NYX Professional. I love this stuff because it's not bleed. Um, so if you are sweating, at the end of the night, your um, under eyeliner won't be crawling down your face. Final step with the eyes, I like to go back in with a little bit of blackity black, black, black to deepen the outside of my crease here. So now it's time to add the lashes. Um, I had two lashes here a minute ago, and now one of them has disappeared, so I had to go find another set of lashes. And these are not Showtime lashes. These are kind of a little bit more natural. I don't really have a specific go-to lash, but I do like them to be large and 
thick. You're doing stage makeup, so you have to be able to see it from afar. Think about the person in the mezzanine level of whatever theater or whatever club you're dancing in should be able to see your lashes and see that you have eyes. So the lashes that I'm putting on right now are a little bit more natural. You can't even see them from here. Like, these suck. Especially being a forward dance teacher, I would teach my girls how to put on stage makeup and it would just piss me off to the highest pissing the pissivity when I would tell them that you need large stage lashes and they would show up with these little wispies that you would wear every day. I'm like, these are not the appropriate lashes. And here I am putting on everyday lashes on top of stage makeup. Mm. I'm mad at myself. All right, so now we have two options here. Some people like to go back and track their lashes. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, in this particular case, since the lashes are so small, I am gonna go ahead and, and track my lashes back, which means just go over the eyeliner again. Little carving brush. A little more black. Just a little bit. Yes. And you'll stay safe. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, baby. Pleased. Pleased. All right, now I need to hit up our corners. Highlight, set, and we're done. Next up, Too Faced Peach Blur. I love this stuff, it looks so shiny. You guys can't see that. Too Faced Peach Blur, and what color? It's peach. Translucent smoothing finishing powder infused with peach and sweet fig cream. It smells so good, guys. I love Too Faced products because they always smell good, but I love it. Smooths everything out. It literally is like the best finishing powder because it makes everything blur. You can see it already. Look at that. My favorite blush, this is Tarte uh, Amazonian Clay Blush. In, no, funny enough, the color Shima and Shake. Yes, shimmer and shake, because that's what I do. A shimmer and a shake. Magic. Do you believe in magic? Oh, my hair looks cray right now. It's okay, I've been doing a lot of moving. As soon as I finish, I'll brush it back down and my, my blowout will be perfect. People don't do this, I do this. I throw a little bit more color up top because I am trying to conceal my Tyra Banks forehead. And then we highlight. My favorite highlighter, I am on this stuff now. It is the Ofra Mickey Tutorials combo. And what color is this? I forgot what color is this. Glow Goals? Glow Goals. I love this. This is probably the best highlighter that I've ever used. Absolutely amazing. Like, look at this. Boop. Life changing. Ooh, Mickey Tutorials, girl. This is the product. This is amazing, I love this. And then, because I, like I said, I have these, these cheeky bones, I like to put my highlighter right here. Right here. And you my little kitty cheeks, my little big old chipmunk cheeks. <laughs> Quick blendini, blend a real, blend it up, suddenly. Fantastic. Oh. Now I am about to go set my face. I gotta get my setting spray. Keep the clip. BRB because I left my setting spray in the other bag. But first. All right, be right back. All right, I'm back. I found my setting spray. One of the best setting sprays that I have ever used besides the collab. Um, setting spray, this e.l.f. Mist and Set has been, love it, shake it up, spray it. I like to drench my face. I told y'all I'm super oily, I drench it. I want it to suck it all in and seal it. I just want to seal it up. I just want all of this to just be sealed. I want it to be shellacked to my face, essentially, shellac me. If they made shellac, I would put it on my face. If they made shellac for makeup, I would put that shit on my face. Right, all right. So now, all we have left is the lips. Some people like to leave their mascara, I mean a mascara, their foundation or whatever on their lips and go from there, I do not. Wet paper towel or makeup wipe. I like to remove any makeup from my lips. 
Then I've got my, this is technically an overnight mask, but the uh, Victoria's Secret Goodnight Kiss Overlight Overnight Mask, I use this all the time. Just as a moisturizer for my lips and I like to put that on. I also have their Sugar Lip Scrub and I use that for regularly as well because you don't want to have flaky, dry ass lips on stage. I hate when girls show up with flaky, dry ass lips. Put that on, smooth it up, and then I wipe it off. <laughs> don't have to meet people after the show. Talk to your audience. Talk to your fans. Tell them about your YouTube channel. Try to book another gig. And nobody wants to book a gig with a dry lip showgirl. I'm just saying. I'm a little sticky and I don't want to be sticky, so I'm gonna take a little bit of setting powder. And I'm gonna put some setting powder on my lips. I got the setting powder and now we've got a nice strong base for your lipstick. Lately, I've been using this Rimmel Exaggerate lip liner. Um, it's just a, a red lip liner. This is not my favorite. It's kind of dry. Um, and I like things to be a little bit creamier when they go on and then dry, but it works, so. Now you see what I do here. And then I put this crack away. And show girls wear red lips, red, pink, or deep purple. Uh, that's just what I usually use. Those are my three colors. Of course, if there's something specific, like if I'm wearing a blue costume and blue hair, and I need to do blue eyeshadow and blue lips, I'll do it. There we go. We are showgirl fabulous. Or at least the less dancer fabulous. Doesn't this always happen? Of course, I go downstairs to grab my jewelry and I found my Minnie Mouse ears and I found my devil horns, the two things that I usually wear in my hair while I do my makeup because it holds my hair back. I'm so sad. I could have been cute. I could have been real cute. All right, so this is the finished show face. I know I said I was gonna get like all ready and stuff, but this is usually how I go to a show. Um, usually my hair is done or it's rolled up. My face is done. I've got my earrings on and I've got on my show jacket. I've got a couple of these. Um, they're really easy to get on and off. Quarter zips so that I can pull it up and over my head without messing up my makeup and hair. I love these, but this is what, this is what I do. This is, this is my show face and I'm pretty pleased with it. I plan on doing this again. I wanna do a get ready with me when I'm actually going to a show. Um, right now, I'm getting ready to take some photos on my brand new bed that I'm so excited about. I just got my mention today too. Hmm. Face, 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 face. I'm loving it. Well guys, thank you again for watching. My name is Vera Valentina, giving you the best in burlesque beauty and booty here on YouTube. Stay tuned. We've got some really great videos coming up and I'll catch you next time.